he looked out the window and he could see this thing. And by this time, it had gotten pretty close to us. And it was uh, flying at treetop level uh, and matching our speed. And when my dad saw it, he went into instant panic mode. And uh, I said, what is it? And he said, shut up, leave me alone. And he was, you know, I could see he was visibly uh, frightened. And uh, so anyway, we... we tried to outrun it and there's no way we could outrun it it matched our speed and and there didn't seem to be anybody on this road at all and uh, there were trees around us like pine trees and and so all of a sudden the ship shot ahead of us and uh, quite a distance and it came down in the road so when we got uh, close to it I don't know if the engine stopped or if my dad just stopped, but he, he stopped and this thing was sitting right in front of us in the middle of the road. And it was, uh, it was very bright. It lit up the whole road and the trees and everything almost like daylight. And uh, so we were both looking at this thing and all of a sudden this, my dad managed to collect himself. And he said to me, uh, he says, you stay here in the car. He said, don't, don't you leave the car. You stay here and stay low so they don't see you. He said, don't look out the window over the dash. Just stay low. He says, I'm going to get out and see what they want. So uh, anyway, uh, uh, these two beings came out of the ship and they're standing in the road just looking at us. And my dad opened the, the door and he got out and he starts walking toward them. Well, I was just a little kid and I was very curious. So of course I was looking over the dashboard and watching this going on. And uh, I could see him talking to the, the two beings. And the one was in front uh, talking to him and the other one was over, over that being's left shoulder, kind of uh, behind a little bit, maybe a, a few feet back. And so I, I wanted to see who these people were because they looked different from us and I was uh, interested. And, and so I, I climbed over to the driver's seat and I got out and I knew that I was co probably going to be in trouble for it, but uh, little kids can get away with a lot of stuff, you know? And so uh, I started walking toward my dad and I could see him uh, turning his body to guard me so that the the beings wouldn't see me and he was he had his hand behind his back and he was going like that to, you know get back in the car kind of motion and uh, so i came up behind him and uh, he was still trying to guard me so the being couldn't see me and the being just suddenly went like that and looked over his shoulder at me and he said I could hear in my mind, I could hear this being saying, you seem to be concerned about the child. And uh, so the, uh, my dad's kind of laughed this, he, when he's nervous, he kind of has this sheepish sort of laugh. And, and he said, oh yeah, he says, that's my boy. And then he turned to me and he said, I told you to stay in the car and go and get back in the car. And I said, but I want to see. And he says, go and get back in the car. So then the, the being that was talking to my dad said, would you like my crew member to take him back for you? And my dad said, no, well, that's okay. Uh, we have to go anyway. And so the, the being turned and looked at his crew member. And the crew member immediately came over and took me by the hand and started walking me back to the car. So my dad was uh, looking at, at us, watching him take me back to the car. And I could see he was nervous about it, wondering, like, what's, what's going to happen here? And so uh, anyway, uh, I got in and the being got in beside me and sat in the driver's seat. And so he, he shut the door and he was sitting there looking at me. And he started asking me questions. He said, uh, 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 how does this vehicle work? And uh, 
I said, well, you push the one pedal on the floor there to make it go, and you push the other one to make it stop. And he said, oh, I see. And so he's kind of holding the steering wheel, and he goes, what does this do? And I said, well, that's how you move the vehicle. Uh, you either go that way or that way with it, and depending on how you turn it. And he said, oh, okay. And then he pointed to the radio on the dashboard. And I just happened to glance up and I noticed that my dad and the other being were no longer there. So I assumed that he'd taken him inside. And he pointed to the radio, this being, and he says, what does this do? And I said, well, that's a radio. And I said, you, you hear music on it and you hear people talking. And he says, oh, and he said, uh, can you, can you talk back to them on it? And I said, no, it, it doesn't work that way. It only works one way. You can hear on it, but you can't talk on it. And he says, oh, okay. And he said, uh, how do you start the vehicle? And I said, well, you have to put the key in here. And he was just keeping me occupied and basically babysitting me while my dad was on the, the ship with the other being. So, uh, uh, he kept me amused there for maybe about 20 minutes or so, asking me questions about school. He said, do you go to school? And I said, well, no, not yet, but next year. So that means I would have had to have been about four because I would have started school at five. So I would have had to have been four years old, I guess, at that time. So... Anyway, he kept me amused for quite a while. And then I saw my dad get out and the other being, they both uh, came out of the ship and they're standing there talking in the road. And uh, the being looks at me and he says, I have to go now. And I said, uh, I said, really? I said, can't you stay a little bit longer? Cause I was enjoying his company. He was taking an interest in me and, and uh, he said, well, maybe for a minute or so. And then he was watching the other being that was with my dad. And then the other being just kind of nodded at him like that. And he said, now I do have to go. And uh, I tried to talk him into staying. And he said, no, I'm sorry, I do have to go now. So he got out and he's walking toward the other being past my dad in the road coming back to the vehicle. And so my dad got in. And um, he was kind of quiet, and we watched the two beings get back in the in the saucer-shaped craft. It was saucer-shaped, and uh, it lifted off the road. And we watched it lift up, and we watched it take off. And so then my dad started the car, and we started driving home. Then I noticed something kind of unusual: is that this uh, ship appeared to be coming back and it came back and did the same thing it uh, came down in the road in front of us and made us stop again and uh, uh, my dad i heard him kind of mutter under his breath oh what the hell do they want now and uh, so the the being one being got out walked over to the car and my dad stayed in the car this time he didn't get out the being came over to the window and uh, motioned for my dad to lower the window. So my dad rolled the window down and he said, what is it? And the being said, you forgot these. And he handed him his glasses. And uh, so my dad said, oh, thanks. And he put his glasses on and uh, then the being went back to the ship and they left again. So that was the end of that incident.